Hi everyone, um, I'm Mi Chen from National Semiconductor Infrastructure Power Product. Today I want to demonstrate LM5113 100 volt half bridge driver for enhancement mode gallium nitride fats. Uh, enhancement mode GAN fats has provided significant benefits over silicon based MOSFET, but it also has stringent requirements for the driver. So now let's take a look at what, the, what uh, those requirements. Here I have a plot on the on the left, which is RDS uh, versus the gate to source voltage. Um, as you can see, in order to achieve the minimum RDS, um, the gate to source voltage has to be within 4.5 volts to 5.5 volts, and the maximum allowable gate to source voltage of the gan fat is only 6 volts. And on the right side is a plot which shows the a reverse drain to source voltage versus the drain current. Because of a lack of the body diode of the gun fat, the drain to source the source to drain voltage can be higher than uh, 1.5 volts. That will cause the problem. So let's see how the LM5113 solved this problem. Here is the block diagram of LM5113. Um, as you can see, they have the, uh, the high side driver bias is generated um, using a, a bootstrap cap. This cap is charged uh, through the VDD uh, whenever the switch node voltage is pulled down below the ground. Um, but because of the uh, lack of the body diode of the gun fat, this voltage could be pulled down below ground by several volts and then the overcharge the bootstrap cap that can damage the gun, uh, gun fat. LM5113 solved this problem by employing a, a clamping circuit, which can clamp the voltage on the bootstrap cap below 5.25 uh, volts. So next, I'm going to use the evaluation boards to demonstrate the functionality. I have uh, two evaluation boards on the bench. Um, this is basically a synchronous bar converter. Uh, here you can see uh, this is LM5113 in LLP10 pin package. And these two are 100 volts enhancement gun fats. So um, in one of the evaluation boards, I have added an external diode, um, let's say, on the plot from ADD to, HB, to HBP. The, uh, to bypass the internal clamping, clamping circuit. I have soldered that out on the back. And then I'm going to use the two meters to monitor the uh, bootstrap cap voltage. And you will see without the clamping circuit, then the bootstrap voltage will go up with the increase of the load current. Okay, now let's power up the uh, two boards okay, here. Okay, so as you can see, I have a one, uh, almost one amps on the both boards, and this is for this one, and this is for that one. Um, this meter shows the bootstrap voltage uh, for the one that um, without clamping circuit, the voltage is 4.9 volts, and for the one that has a clamping circuit, it's 4.3 volts. Now I increase the load current to two amps on both boards. As you can see, for the evaluation board without clamping circuit, the bootstrap voltage is already 6.05 volts, which is almost the maximum allowable gate to source voltage of the gun fat. If I, keep, if I keep increasing the low current, then eventually the gun fat will be damaged. But for here, with the clamping circuit, the bootstrap voltage is still 4.85 volts. So if I, I can further increase the low current, that's still 4 amps. And then, as you can see, the voltage is still 5.1 volts, still below the uh, maximum, allow, uh, maximum allowable voltage. So that's all for LM5113. Thanks for watching. For more information, please go to na national.com slash isolatedpower.